In our continuing coverage of the search for Kelsey Barrett last seen on Thanksgiving Day, we're starting to learn more about the missing Woodland Park mother from one of her relatives and a neighbor. Our Sam Kramer has been tracking this story for us. He's in studio with more Sam. Yeah, I spoke with Kelsey's uncle today who says she moved to Woodland Park back in 2016 to be closer to then boyfriend Patrick Fr Frazy, who lives in Florissant. Now they were not living together with their baby just yet, and one neighbor says she thinks she saw Patrick's truck Thanksgiving Day. She's lived off Lake Avenue for years, sharing cordial conversation, even family stories with Kelsey Barrett. She's an awesome person. She's so kind and so you could tell she's a very kind hearted person. The neighbor didn't want us showing her face or using her real name to prevent excess attention, but she offers new details on activity at Kelsey's home Thanksgiving Day. What do you remember seeing Thanksgiving Day just off the road here? I looked up there and there was both red pickups up there Thanksgiving Day and that was from about 1230 to 1. She says she never saw anybody, but the Information aligns with what Frazy told police through his attorney saying he picked up their daughter sometime Thanksgiving Day. The Safeway surveillance video includes a 1205 timestamp, meaning the truck would have arrived shortly thereafter. The other two cars were, were um, parked with the vehicles facing the apartment, but his was parked sideways behind them. The neighbor says it's the same truck she's seen the last two years, driven by a man picking up and dropping off a baby. And when I showed her video of Frazy's truck towed off his property Friday, she says it looks the same. The mystery of where Kelsey is continues. It's not normal. Um, Kelsey and her mom typically talk quite often. I mean, they were attached to the hip since she was little. I mean, they were best friends. As Kelsey's loved ones, including her uncle, hope someone comes forward to help find her. Now the search of Frazee's property finished Sunday. Police haven't said what, if anything, that they've found. Now, a reminder, an anonymous donor is allowing the Woodland Park Police Department to pay up to $25,000 for information leading to Kelsey's discovery. You can find information to contact police right now on KOAA.com. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado. I'm Sam Kramer, News 5. We'll keep